Stage of Masterminds TV. I'm your host, Jeff Tuffer. Let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to talk about today is a market in which you can create urgency and cause people to make decisions and hopefully they'll make the right ones and it'll benefit them and you. And that is the short sale market. Now, in marketing, if you present urgency, it definitely creates uh, motivation for people to make the right decisions. Now, uh, you don't want to create false urgency, but right now with short sales, there is an urgency and you can put this on your Facebook, Twitter, tell everybody about it and make sure they're spreading the word that if they want to be forgiven of the debt and not have to pay taxes on it, on any short sale that they might do, if they're upside down and they need to sell their house, then now is the time to make the decision to put their house on the market and get it done because the Mortgage Debt Relief Act of 2007 is set to expire at the end of this year. Now, truthfully, there is legislation on the table that may extend this, and it's an election year, so some people, you know, politicians on Capitol Hill like to get a little kudos and like to have something to put on their resume to say, hey, look what I did for, for my constituents. I helped you out by extending the Mortgage Debt Relief Act. Now, that is on the table, but it's not passed. So you can tell people, hey, if you want to be forgiven of the debt and not have to pay taxes on that, they might not even know that that's a possibility. But in the future, if this doesn't get extended, they will have to pay taxes on the deficiency. So right now, they are guaranteed to be forgiven that, and later on, they're not. So this Mortgage Debt Relief Act expiring could be something that you use that will benefit you, and it also is something that guarantees the client's safety from paying extra taxes at the end of the year. So make sure you're spreading the news and use that to your advantage to get some listings. Speaking of short sales, you may know this but and you may not, but I'm gonna tell it to you again either way. I can get people financed after a short sale immediately. I didn't say 18 months, 24 months, three years. I said immediately. Now, there has to be the right circumstances. We'll get to that. But first, I wanna tell you, this could make you money. Now, I have a client who I closed someone in... Um, April, I've closed someone in May, I got someone on the books for June that has a short sale and we are closing these deals and they had short sales less than a year ago. Now I have a realtor I work with right now and he had a client who talked to him who was told by two or three different realtors, you have to wait three years before you can buy a house. Now they talked to this realtor, you know what this realtor said? I work with a great mortgage professional who can possibly get you in right away. And guess what he got? He got a buyer out of the deal because I can get the deal done. Now, the keys that we want to look at here for someone who can get a uh, mortgage right after a short sale is that one, they aren't currently in the house, so basically it can't be their current house. They sell the house, then they apply for the new mortgage, so it can't be like a concurrent thing. Also, they can't have any, they can't be late right now. Now, a lot of lenders are saying they, they're going to look at their last, their history and they can't be late in the last 12 months. The actual guideline is they can't be late right now. However, just keep that in mind. If they're late in the last 12 months, it could be harder to get done. And they uh, have to have a good reason. They can't just say, they can't be taking advantage of the market. They can't say, hey, I got a two-story, 2,000 square foot home and I owe 180 on it. There's one down the street that's 2,000 uh, square feet and it's a two-story home and I can get that for 140. Let's see, uh, I can save $40,000, let's do it. That can't be it. If you had to move because of a job, if you had a loss of income and you couldn't afford the other house, these things create a reason where they uh, will accept this. All you have to tell people is, I have a mortgage professional who has a very good program where he possibly can get you done right away. Let him tell you if it'll work out, just call him. Or have me call them. And you can get some buyers that are maybe being told down the road that they can't do anything. It's money in your pocket just to be working with me and get this done. So. Keep that in mind on short sales as well. Right, there's a great program out there that can help some of your past buyers and it's called HARP. This is the federal pro government's program for refinancing and it's for people who have Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loans. But there's very similar products for VA, rural development, and FHA. So get with your past database, send them a little message and just say, hey, I work with a great lender who can get you in a, uh, into a house or get you into a refinance on your house and you will not most likely need an appraisal. Now we can do this for everybody and we're really good at it, but there's a lot of lenders who are going away from doing purchase business right now just to focus on these programs. Just so you know, I'm not doing that. I will get the refinances taken care of, but I'm still focusing on purchases, working with realtors and making sure their stuff's taken care of. So keep that in mind when you're, uh, when you're working with your buyers. You want someone who is gonna focus on getting the purchase business and has time for it. And uh, with me and my new assistant, Justin, we do definitely take care of your buyers. So keep that in mind, but definitely tell your past clients, uh, maybe via Facebook that, there is some. There are some programs out there where they could be upside down. They could be, you know, underwater by 
hundred percent. They could owe a hundred thousand on a house that's worth fifty, or they could owe three hundred thousand on a house that's worth one fifty, and we can get them refinanced. So it's a great opportunity. But uh, again, we're not gonna stop doing our purchase business just to take care of this. So just keep that. Hey, well, that's all for this episode of Real Estate Agent Mastermind TV. Hey, check us out on Facebook, where right now I'm going through the top twenty tips for real estate agents that can help your business. Just read through them and maybe you'll learn something. Hopefully you learned something here as well. Now get out there and sell some real estate.